Sarcosicus, giant prehistoric crocodile that ate dinosaurs. The genus Sarcosicus includes a series of crocodile reptiles that existed alongside the dinosaurs during the Cretaceous period, approximately 112 million years ago. The remains have been found in Africa and South America, when in the Cretaceous period they were still together in Pangaea. This genus of crocodiles had nothing to envy to the great dinosaurs with which it lived, since it became one of the biggest crocodiles and predators that have existed on Earth. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. Species Sarcosicus belongs to the class of sauropes, superorder of crocodrilomorpha and family of polysaurids, Phalodosauridae. So far, fossils of two species, Sarcosicus imperator and S. harti, have been found. The first fossils of these animals were found in Brazil by Canadian naturalist Charles Hart. They were two fossilized teeth, which he sent to the paleontologist Othniel C. Marsh, the one from the War of the Bones. Marsh classified them as belonging to a new species. The already known Gonhipulwa. It was not until 1977 that these teeth were discovered to belong to a new species, which was duly named S. Harti. Between 1946 and 1954, the Frenchman Albert Félix de la Parent found several crocodiliform fossils in North Africa. There were teeth, skull fragments and vertebrae that helped to distinguish a new species. In 1964, another French team found another, almost complete, skull in northern Niger. Two years later, the French named the new species Sarcosicus imperator, from the Greek sarchos, meat, and sucus, crocodile. At the end of the 20th century, the paleontologist from the University of Chicago, Paul Sereno, excavated numerous skulls and skeletons of S. Imperator also in Niger. Characteristics The largest modern crocodile, the saltwater crocodile, can reach up to 7 meters, although they usually do not exceed 6 meters. Sarcosicus used to be over 10 meters long, and it is believed that they used to reach 12 meters. Only the jaw could reach 3 meters, a super crocodile. 100 million years later, a large, old specimen of the saltwater crocodile, Crocodilus porosus, can weigh a ton. Sarcosicus could weigh as much as 8 tons. That said, a monster. Of course, Sarcosicus lived in an age of titans, a time when the characteristics of the atmosphere and the lack of predators allowed living beings to reach dimensions rarely seen in our era. The fact that there were also giant herbivores helped carnivores like Sarcosicus to find abundant food. Appearance of fear. There's no way you'd want to run into this prehistoric crocodile. Not only was it extremely dangerous, it was uglier than a pair of infected tonsils. In addition to the already unpleasant appearance of any reptile, Sarcosicus had a horn that could well be described as deformed. The upper part was larger than the lower, so that when the mouth was closed there was always a stretch left uncovered. It was as if both sections belonged to different animals. Some of the teeth found in Sarcosicus are as much as 15 centimeters long as those of a T-Rex. To the size we add the amount, more than 100 of them between the upper and lower jaw. An unmitigated death bite. I don't even want to imagine it. To top it all off, Sarcosicus had a bulge in his tube, that is, a kind of blister or bladder, something like a big wart on the tip of his nose. What it was for, we're not sure. Some scientists believe it could be an olfactory amplifier. Others suggest that it might have a vocalization function. Sarcosicus tube was not only ugly, it prevented him from performing the death twist. Have you ever seen how a crocodile, once it has caught its prey in its teeth, starts to spin on its own axis? It does this to tear the animal's tissues and rip its limbs apart. Still, it is believed that Sarcosicus could well hunt the many dinosaurs in his habitat and time. Habitat. And while we're at it, let's talk about where these giant bugs lived. According to the data known so far, each of the two known species of Sarcosicus lived in one area, S. imperator in Africa, and S. harti in South America. Although the area in which the fossils found in Africa is now the Sahara Desert, 100 million years ago, it was a river plain. Where it's all sand now. It used to be a jungle. 
Like many modern crocodile species, Sarcosicus preferred rivers to saltwater. So he could vary his diet between fish, and the dinosaurs that came ashore to drink. Not unlike what tourists can now see on the banks of the Congo, or even the Nile. The surprising and treacherous attack of a crocodile on a zebra, is one of the most descriptive shows we can see in nature. And did this giant prehistoric crocodile have no predators? It probably did, but not many. Our friend the prehistoric crocodile was not only big and ferocious, but well protected. Most of his body was protected by osteoderms, the bony plates that serve as skin for many reptiles, and which are very difficult to break. There is one point that I think is worth discussing. It is a question that is sometimes asked by my students and friends. Why have crocodiles changed so little over hundreds of millions of years? The answer lies in evolution, and what drives it. We know well that an animal, or a plant, evolves through slight physical changes caused by sexual reproduction or mutations. These changes are perpetuated when the new characteristics represent an advantage for the animal. When these adaptations help a specimen adapt better to a particular environment, that animal has a better chance of reproducing and passing on those characteristics to the next generation. To make a long story short, if crocodiles have not evolved much in 200 years, it is because they have since become a very effective killing machine. Little can be improved now, unless their environment changes. Supercroc. This type of crocodile was the crocodile that ate crocodiles, a whole jungle beast. Unfortunately its large size prevented it from moving quickly in attack and in turn from moving. Of course, the Sarcosicus is a variety of this crocodile. There are some details of the giant prehistoric crocodile that are worth mentioning. Sarcosicus eyes moved up and down, but not sideways. According to the fossil evidence, Sarcosicus sometimes fought with dinosaurs. Sarcosicus never stopped growing. It grew in size until the last day of its life, that explains a lot about its size. So, there you have it, the giant prehistoric crocodile, Sarcosicus. One more bug in a collection of ferocious creatures from the past that I'd rather not have met. An extinct species, which is better off in a museum than in our rivers. It wouldn't be the first giant crocodile or the last, but it would be the most fearsome of all. Did you learn something new about Sarcosicus, giant prehistoric crocodile that ate dinosaurs that you didn't know before? We hope you did. So, if you're interested in learning more amazing facts, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified by our new videos. Please like and share the video. Comment down your thoughts on this. Thanks for watching till the end.